Now in this question we're asked to expand 1 plus x over 2 all to the power 10 using the binomial expansion and just expand this in ascending powers of x up to the fourth term. So how are we going to do this? Well hopefully you know the binomial expansion but what I've done here is just put it on the bottom here for you just to remind you. If you've got 1 plus anything which I've called a to a power n then it's identical to 1 plus the power times a plus the power times 1 less than the power over 2 factorial times a squared and it goes on like that. So in this example the a is my x over 2 and the power n is the 10. So using then this formula here for the binomial expansion don't forget to write is identical to we have 1 plus the power times a so the power is 10 multiplied by a which is x over 2. Make sure you write these in brackets so that's the first two terms done then we go to the third term so it is the power n which is 10 multiplied by 1 less than the power so that's 9 over 2 factorial 2 factorial remember is 2 times 1 so I always like writing that in full as 2 times 1 and then it is a squared a being the x over 2 so we have x over 2 all squared so that's the first three terms now we come on to the fourth term so it is n which is 10 reduce the power by 1 that's 9 reduce it by another 1 so that's 8 over 3 factorial that's 3 times 2 times 1 times the a value cubed so that's x over 2 all cubed don't forget to write plus and so on even though we just want the first four terms. Right then, all we need to do now is just clean these terms up. What I'll do is I'll remove the formula. All right. So all we need to do then, as I say, is just clean this up. You can either just use your calculator or I prefer to do a combination of two actually, just see if I can cancel anything. So we'll take the first term, it's clearly 1, next term is 10x over 2 or you could cancel the 2 into the 10, that goes 5 times so you're just going to have 1 plus 5x. Now when it comes to the third term should be able to cancel out a few things, the 2 for instance here goes into the 10 5 times and so you've got 5 nines of 45. So you've got 45 x squared. Don't forget this is 2 that is squared so that's over 4. So three terms down and we're on to the final term now. So in this term you could either use your calculator or see the gain that you could cancel like for instance the 3 cancels into the 9 three times and the 2 cancels into the 10 five times and here you've got 2 cubed actually 2 cubed is 8 and that will cancel into that 8 so you could actually just cancel that once and that goes 1 so what you have is just simply 5 times 3 which is 15 times x cubed 15 x cubed and don't forget plus and so on. And there you have the first four terms in the expansion of 1 plus x over 2 all to the power 10.